The optimal position of the microphone capsule is at the corner of your smile. And to secure you have that position, you move the microphone relative to the position here below the ear. The ear hooks can be moved in and out individually to make sure you have the right headband size. When you have the correct length of the boom and the right position on the ear hook, you fasten the boom on the hooks here. There are five hooks in total, two on each side and one in the middle. They are facing inwards and outwards to make sure that the boom is fastened correctly. Do not use them for the cable. This will break the cable. If you wish to shift it from one side to the other, you unhook it on the hooks here. You flip it like this and secure it in the hooks like this. If you want to change the curve of the boom, you bend it with at least two fingers. You push it with your thumb and you counter hold it with at least two fingers. Also the other way around, if you want to straighten the boom, if you have too much of a curve, you counter hold it with two fingers and bend it with, the, with your thumb. Never bend it over a sharp edge like this point here, as this will create a dent on the boom. All DPA mics are delivered with either MicroDot or any of the three standard connectors for wireless systems. If you wish to connect your headset directly to a 12 to 48 volt phantom power supply, you should use this phantom power adapter, the DAD6001. The omnidirectional version of the microphone looks like this. The directional version of the microphone looks like this, with a small bend bending the microphone backwards, so the entry of the microphone is pointing at the mouth. You can recognize the omni by the entry holes in front of the capsule, and the directional uh, has the entry on the side of the capsule. All the omnis and all the directional headsets comes in these three colors. The headset is pre-mounted with the soft boost grid, but if you need an extra little frequency boost, you can add the high boost cap instead. Both grids are exchangeable and are rinsable. Remove the grid and wash it separately before rinsing the microphone in demineralized water. In the box are windscreens, small ones and larger ones for even more wind protection. With each of the headsets, we supply a makeup cover that you use to cover the capsule of the microphone if you are applying hairspray or makeup to the actor while wearing the microphone. Make sure you remove this makeup cover before entering the stage.